Hello and welcome back to my studio. It's Lois here from Lois and Morgana Davidson Art and today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this winter moonlight scene. But first I'm just going to do um, a quick plug for my book Landscapes in Watercolour Techniques and Tutorials for the Complete Beginner. It came out this spring and it's already uh, been reprinted, which is brilliant. Thanks to everyone that's bought it. And if you're interested in taking a look, then there's a couple of links in the description below the video. If you're interested in a full um, real-time demo with um, extra in-depth uh, teaching, then please take a look over at my Patreon page where you will find this. This is part two of a new series that I've started where I'm sharing lots of ideas for painting holiday cards. So if you're interested in the series as it grows and expands over the next few weeks, then why not have a look at my Patreon page and um, sign up with us and join us over there. We'd love to see you. So as you can see, I'm using the wet in wet method to paint this scene, painting a graduated sky wash with a limited palette using indigo and Venetian red for the sky. And now we're using what we call the card swipe method, which is squeezing out fresh paint onto a flexible plastic card, swiping it across the page so that we get these lovely mountain textures. Now that I've got my mountain side set up, leaving plenty of uh, white paper between the marks created by applying the fresh paint with the card, um, which was indigo, Payne's grey and sepia, I'm using a palette knife just to sort of etch in the start of a few trees here in the foreground. I've used the corner of my large wash brush to create a canopy for the trees and now I'm going to make a moon. I found a little circular shaped paint tube lid. I'm covering it with absorbent tissue paper. And now I'm going to lift out a moon from that damp sky, pressing it carefully where I want the moon and then lifting it to reveal the white of the paper where I've removed a bit of the paint. And I think that's a lovely effect. Going back and using my palette knife just to scrape through a few more sort of branches and parts of the tree trunk uh, before I leave it all to dry. And here's the dry painting and it's looking quite effective but I'm using a very light glaze of indigo and Venetian red to just knock back that white paper a little bit so that I get these um, snow sort of reflecting the glow of the sky. Now using my number two rigger, I'm going to uh, paint in some slightly sort of stronger tree trunks and branches. Just dotting and dashing to break up that edge a little bit of the canopy. Drawing some of the branches um, through the gaps between the little canopies as well. And that just finishes the tree off nicely. So I'm almost finished. Um, I'm just going to remove the tape, have a look at the painting, see how it looks with its clean white border. It's like looking at it with fresh eyes and I can see that the tree trunks aren't quite visible enough. So I think what I'm going to do is take some white gouache and using it almost straight from the tube and my rigger brush, I'm going to work some highlights into the trees. Now those highlights will help to make the trees stand out against the mountain. They will also give the illusion of some moonlight, just catching the trunks and the trunk and the branches in various places. I'll put it on quite heavily to start with, and then using my dark mix of Payne's Grey, Indigo and Sepia, I can knock that white colour back a little. Just darken it up in places, so it just gives me these lovely highlights. And here's the finished painting. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me paint this mid-winter moonlight scene. And if you're interested in the full-length, more in-depth demo, then why not hop over to Patreon and take a look? And there are hundreds of videos over there exclusive to Patreon. And you can also watch this demo um, advert-free. 
Many thanks for watching. Please leave us a like and why not consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. It's free to do and it really does help with our reach and show support for the channel. And thank you so much for every, to everyone that supports us on Patreon. We really do appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.